hey, hi, hi, hey, hey, hi, hey, hey, hi, I'm Ingo Voice, Ing Ing Voice, okay, I'm a VTuber, hi, so, you know what happened the other day when I was streaming, my 2k uh, celebration, you know, I uh, had my 2k celebration, okay, <laughs> if you miss it, you can watch it, um, this will be audio, okay, okay, this happened, look at Navy said, oh, so, so you actually got on video, if you want to look at the look at development of it, as well as multiple other games and movies, I highly recommend what happened by Matt Max. Mad Muscles. And it was, oh, Mad Mad Muscles. I never heard of this guy. Who the fuck is Matt? Okay, this happens. I, I, I found this. What happened is, is a good hunt because, you know, I need to know more what happened behind this fabulous game. I want to know everything. This is my new blurb, okay? Let's be honest. This is my, the way I say it in the Tumblr slang, slang you know, mm, blurb. Hi. Oh. What? What happened? What the fuck? Oh, just a uh, hello guy. Welcome back to What Happened, the show that still hasn't covered GTA, the trilogy, the definitive edition, what? the disaster of the year. The disaster However, of the year. the grains of sand are rapidly running out, Rockstar. <laughs> so take the yeah. time now to make peace with whatever deity you pray to. They don't have the deity. Anyway, did. speaking oh. of deities, God oh. Hand. Yeah. Simply put, this is one of the most unique stories in Capcom's history of uh, unique stories. But fortunately, not for the reasons we usually discuss on this very program. <laughs> See, All right. when God Hand was released during the Halcyon days of 2006, it very quickly accrued a kind of for? reputation, and unfortunately, oh. it wasn't a 100% positive one. Oh. I don't think you realize what you're getting yourself into, Pendeo! Oh. Yeah. There's been plenty of rumors, speculation, and inaccuracies about its development, some of which I hope to stomp out today. So oh. sit down, chill out, and grab a smoothie and or puppy pizza. What? It's time to find out what happened to God Hand. Yeah, I want to know more. A boss fight. In the mid-2000s, Capcom acquiesced to the concerns of some of their creators like hmm. Hideki Kamiya and Atsushi Anaba, who yes, sought more independence and creative freedom within the company. This oh, yeah. is what formed Clover Studio and the creation of Okami, which was yes, set to be the biggest amazing. title many on the team had or it's would one of the work on. Ever. Now, Capcom was putting out a lot of horror and action yeah. titles that were making big they bank, missed, they as missed. was the style at the time. But the flip side yeah. of that, of course, was a sharp decrease in the green lighting of adventure oh. and RPG titles. Mm, I get it. Long third. Long quarter. The I didn't know what the fuck of Clover that. was an attempt to offset that, as many of the creative oh. leads were burnt out on Yo, the conveyor shit. belt of edgy 2000s fare. But <laughs> even more <laughs> unfortunately, That's the, game the declining sales of beautiful the Beautiful Joe. Joe series and its spin-offs did put some pressure on Clover to generate profits. And it's yeah. at this point where Shinji Mikami, the twisted mind behind the seminal Capcom classic, Goof Troop, decided what? to join up. After the arduous and stressful development of Resident Evil 4, he wanted to Wait. try something new. Goof trap! You are you're joking! That's a goof What the fuck? New and felt Clover was just the place to do it. Okay. Opportunity is all about timing, however, and when yes. Mikami was added to the studio's ranks, they were all busy painting up a storm with good old Amaterasu. Yeah. In fact, Okami already had its creative leads in place, so there really wasn't much for Mikami to actually do. Therefore, yeah. he spent the first few months of his time there drafting up multiple ideas for possible future games, but eventually it grew frustrated by the fact he wasn't able to create or contribute in a more concrete way. He then yeah. asked Inaba if he really had more to ideas. wait more than a year for them to finish up Okami before he could lead on their next project. Inaba yes. understood his plight, but said unless he was willing to work with another team outside of Clover, there really oh. wasn't much else he could do. But as it turns out, Mikami was absolutely fine with that. He just really, really, 
really wanted to make something. Clover yeah. was also fine with this, as they realized what with Okami's development taking so long and it being an expensive game to produce, it would be a good yes, idea it to get it more so products expensive. out there in the meantime, proving to Capcom higher-ups that they were a financially viable team. Now, mm. while Mikami had written several game scenarios, the inspiration to go with a combat-heavy brawling title came from an unexpected source. Wait, In a what? 2020 video interview, the legendary game creator didn't mince words. Capcom eh. USA were making a sequel to Final Fight in the United oh. States. When I played what? it, it was shit. I oh. used to enjoy Final oh. Fight, so I was okay. mad that a series I had liked ended up like this. I thought that I wanted to make a game like that if I ever had a chance. Oh, now, that's just, a good just why. Think about this for one second. Final Fight Streetwise helped inspire God Hand. What? I've never been so embarrassed. So anyway, I no wait. I'm oh, wait. So, we we have to look at that statement a little bit more closely than yeah, not at all. Yeah, that was going okay, to buy. Late 2004, early 2005, Streetwise was rebooted into the pissy-looking schlock we all oh. know and hate today. Makami yes. must have played an early build of that come mid or late 2005. And considering oh. how the final game of Streetwise ended up. Yeah, it's no wonder he thought it was Kuso. If you need a refresher on Streetwise's uh, yeah, I want you know. bumpy development, well, bing bong! Oh. Your life. Okay, so while it seems like Why? flexing on Capcom USA played at least a small part in God Hand's creation, Mikami also wanted this new project to stand out and for it to do its own thing. Thus, yeah, he it's had a good his idea. heart or head set on creating a melee based action game played exclusively from a first person perspective. No, first person, not, go, not, go, not going to work. No, 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 first person, no. That was the original idea, and they even got a very basic prototype of this oh. idea up and running, but was scrapped just as quickly, most likely yeah. due to the complexity of creating such a thing. See, yes. Clover meant for this to be a really hard to make it a fast produce okay. while they were busy with Okami and trying to suss out all the details and technical headaches of mm. creating first-person fisting would kind of go against that whole mo. And yeah. let's be real here, they were never going to top breakdown anyway. Yeah. Mm, yeah, got it in there. Now it's time to answer the question: If Clover were too busy whipping around the celestial brush, who was going to help Mikami? Enter yeah, he's going to help him. Wave, a smaller support Money studio Wave? that Capcom utilized whenever they needed a few extra hands. Oh. They pitched in on a bunch of Mega Man X titles as well they as have. the aforementioned oh. Beautiful Joe spin-offs. Mikami would still direct the project with Inaba producing along with a very small team of Clover character modelers. But nice. in terms of level design, programming, sound, animation and such, it was all going to be Value Wave. Oh, Say so. what? In addition to this this being a game project, it also game. had to be made frugally, as Okami was taking more than the lion's share of allocated funds. So to save yes. costs on developing new That's technology, rough. they're going to need to share some. Okami's engine is what God Hand runs on, and while Whoa. it obviously had its benefits, taking the core of a massive adventure game and using it to power a straightforward action brawler also had some drawbacks. Oh. Using this engine would also make sure this would stay a PS2 exclusive, because even though Capcom was oh. supporting the Xbox and GameCube in the mid-2000s, they simply didn't have time or money to spread the game across multiple formats. Yeah, I, I get and, it. Uh, you since don't the first person idea to do didn't that. pan out, the team thought it best to go for an over-the-shoulder camera perspective, which, while easier, didn't make it look like many other titles at first glance. Yeah, Fortunately, Clover she always was... did things that her own way. From the beginning, Yay! God Hand was never intended to be super serious and always had been designed to have a good sense of humor. Remember, yeah, Makami dead. wanted to do something very different from Resident Evil, so he filled it with dad jokes about 70s and 80s Japanese pop Those culture and lampoon just about every action movie or media trope. With that in mind, it also forced the team to prioritize certain elements over others. They simply didn't oh. have time or manpower to create detailed open levels with multiple paths and points of interest, or complicated explosive oh, set so pieces. Like okay. any good director, Mikami had to make some hard so, decisions so with the time and budget that he did have. So he chose to focus no on a unique, in-depth fighting system, detailed character models, and a wide variety of expressive and over-the-top animations. 
Oh. This, coupled with the game's short development time, which was just a bit over a year, is why you see some pretty sparse basic environments when compared oh. to your Onimushas or Devil May Cries. Using yeah. Okami's engine while I retaining it. a lock. I, I love the idea of having shitty games. Also like presented this. another problem. It was never really meant to be used this way, which is why you saw behind the curtain every so often. What? But that was okay. Did they, did they just Again, something? the team wanted Almost to emphasize so? the wacky right. post often. But that was okay. Which is also presented another Wait, problem. Second. It was never really meant to be used this way, which is why Wait. you saw behind the. What is there, homie? Still, Tomja. Curtain Why? so often. But that was okay. Again, the team wanted to emphasize the wacky post apocalyptic what? world and the over the top characters which popped up. I love Pat, you and us. G she reminds me of LeBlanc. Your typical Capcom protagonist. She didn't even want to be. In fact, none of the characters, oh. from Olivia to Azel and especially Gorilla Mask, felt like your cookie cutter cast. You get yes. the impression that Mikami and the rest of the staff wanted to poke fun at what was popular at the time, while obviously paying homage to things like Fist of the North Star and JoJo's oh. Bizarre Adventure. Yes! Thus, crazier and crazier ideas crept into the game, like yeah, the I... musical number, poison chihuahuas, having Mikami's <laughs> severed head as an in-joke item, a boss that may or may not be a man in a gorilla suit, and all other manner of insanity. <laughs> Wait, you're not a human, are you? Quite the contrary, <laughs> limited time and technology was almost okay. freeing to Mikami in a way, compared to the mountain of pressure and hundreds of staff members he had to manage when working yeah, on the Yeah, I evil. get it. Managing so, music teams is a nightmare. Was not going to be some look at this cinematic. Look at it. 20 hour epic. It wasn't meant to be. It was just a game that Mikami was having fun making. He felt yeah, that since that's he the had best. produced or directed several high-profile games for Capcom during his tenure there, mm. he had no qualms about spending a bit of their money to make something specifically for himself. I get the pressure. I get that. It. It's the best. Cut to E3 2006, where God Hand was first shown to the public with a playable demo. A demo oh. that focused on gameplay and didn't contain any cutscenes. So lots of people didn't quite know what to make of it yet, especially when you factor in the difficulty. It's not a simple oh. arcade beat em up you can just coast through, but rather a hard as nails combat experience where you have to have situational awareness at all times, as well as maximizing all of your abilities. Just oh. bashing the attack button over and over would only get you so far. And when I say so far, I mean getting you fucking dead. You are dead! Not a big surprise. It's no. been reported that when Clover saw the <laughs> reaction say that. to the humor the demo did contain, that they decided to inject more into it, but I can confidently oh. say that's not the case. God Hand released in mid-September of 2006, and E3 okay. was in May, and when you add in the lead-up time to manufacturing and shipping, well, that doesn't really make Why? sense. You need to be content complete that close to launch, so the humor and attitude couldn't have been some last-minute change based on feedback. They would have oh. needed to call in the voice actors for another round of recording, as well as the QA department working overtime to test anything new, and that's simply way more work oh. than was feasible in two short months. It's just yeah, not how traditional game development goes, especially back in 2006, an era totally bereft of the day one patch. McCauley, oh. in that 2020 interview I mentioned earlier, also made no illusions about how he felt God Hand was going to fare at retail, joking with a staff member, if everything goes wrong, we might sell 100,000 copies, no. making light of the game's chances. So when that's, it that's a good way didn't to say sell it. that amount, he was actually probably relieved. Now, while most of you might assume it was some type of he didn't thought he was going to sell. mega bomb, that wasn't actually the case, at least in Japan. He knew it. It would go on to sell 60,000 copies, which was higher than a Naba was predicting, as he oh. felt they would have been lucky to sell even half that. So, oh. in terms of a quick additional project that was made on the cheap, it did all right. And while numbers yeah, in the right. US were never released, we can safely assume they weren't much better. Advertising was pretty minimal, as you'd probably expect, but no one can it, yeah. deny that striking box art. Originally, both the Japanese and American versions were supposed to be more graphic, with the fist clearly coming out of the oh. back of the head, but this was nixed by Capcom Marketing. 
Yeah, I'm not going to cup of milk. Aside from having a less lot. cooler cover, what probably didn't help God Hand's chances was the infamous IGN review. You know I was oh, going to bring it up. No. Which slapped Mikami's latest with a 3 out of 10 that'll probably be remembered no. until this flaming planet of pollution and regret we live on explodes in a celestial firestorm. Now, what you surprised me know. while researching for this video is a lack of any other major review outlets that were nearly as harsh. The, the lowest one I can easily find is a 6 out of 10 from Game Informer. Oh. Everyone else was pretty positive, or at the very Damn, least the ones fair. Positive. I had assumed, just based on memory, that God Hand was received very divisively at the time of its release, with several hmm. other sites agreeing with IGN's scorching take, uh, but no. no. Regardless, Regardless, Mikami no. didn't actually care about the game's critical reception. Again, oh, yeah. he wasn't really something fun. unique for a very specific audience, so it could have received a million 3 out of 10s. It wouldn't really have mattered to him. In fact, years later, he wasn't when thinking about Platinum that. was showing off Vanquish at a press event in Tokyo, Mikami thought he'd have a bit of fun. He asked the crowd at the event through a translator, Is there anybody here from IGN? Me, oh. said a nearby member of the press. Uh, yeah, thanks for that God Hand review. Which oh. produced a sensible chuckle from no. the crowd. You should consider a change in careers. Now, there's still oh. this stigma around God Hand due to both the IGN review and the sad fact that one month after its release, Clover as a studio was disbanded. No! There's a variety of reasons for this, with one of the main ones being that Okami simply didn't move enough units to justify keeping their doors open. So oh. for God Hand, well, it just happened to come out at not the best time in the world, as the decision to shutter Clover was probably already in motion. You oh. all know the rest. Clover broke Bye up and help. went platinum, while Mikami would eventually form Tango Gameworks. Although, Tango. I'm gonna be honest, I'm getting increasingly worried about Ghostwire Tokyo. Oh. As for God Hand, well, nowadays, it's looked upon very fondly as a unique example from a creative mind that was doing whatever the hell it wanted. <laughs> and, oh, isn't that cute? IGN even re-reviewed it, which is quite a pointless and hollow gesture that accomplishes absolutely nothing. But, <laughs> whatever, that wasn't the point. Mikami was tired and was burnt out on working on the same thing for more than a decade. Thus, he oh. cited God Hand as the one thing thing he made exactly the way he wanted, warts and I all. Get it. He wasn't ordered to make it accessible, shoe in a multiplayer mode, or whatever. He just wanted to make a dumb, unique thing for himself, and was one That's of the, the last way to do it. examples of Capcom publishing no a heroes. dumb, unique thing. An era that's sorely missed today. Oh. Yeah, I just had to find a way to leave out on a bummer there. Oh, hey, if you know of any other misunderstood miscreants in the video game or motion picture industries, let me know in the comments below, oh. over on my Twitter, <laughs> or punch your know. way into the Flophouse VIP Patreon no. to nominate what you'd want to see in the future. You see make you a bunch of do it. I don't know. Thanks for <laughs> watching. What? My arm, my arm, my arm, my arm, my arm, my arm, I summon up the powers of the game. What the fuck? Like, ah? Uh? Wait, there was a Homer Simpson. That, 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 that still broke me, okay? That still broke me. What the fuck there was as a Homer Simpson? Why? How? When? How come? What the fuck?